Hey guys, it's Andrea. So today I'm going to be unboxing this Real Littles luggage set. Um, I've never done an unboxing video on this channel, so I thought this would be a perfect time to do one because this is just something randomly that I saw at TJ Maxx and I thought it would make a really good luggage for the dolls. So, so we're going to be checking to see how well it fits the American Girl dolls, um, some of the other stuff that it comes with. If we look on the box here, it says it comes with some things inside, some lip gloss, a bag tag, a nail file, comb, nail polish, stickers, stencil. So I'm not sure how much I will use these for the dolls. I mainly got it for the luggage. This was also selling for about $15 at TJ Maxx. So yeah, let's open it. This is my My Froggy Stuff era, by the way. I got scissors. <laughs> They're the doll size ones though. So it comes with this carrying case, it's very cute, the wheels actually do roll. And it also has this little case which can clip to the top of it it seems, like that. It has these indents that you can just clip to the top, which is pretty cute. It also has this extend, this should extend I think, it says it should. Um, I can't get it to work right now. Just gotta give it a good push and it does go down. Okay, how do I open it too? Why am I struggling with this? Okay, here, I was able to open the little one. So this little case right here comes with the, uh, let's see what this is, I have no idea. Okay, these are teeny tiny. I'm not sure if this will fit the dolls. So it has this little elastic scrunchie, like those ponytails that people wear that are made out of this. A teeny tiny brush, which I definitely don't think is going to fit the dolls. And it looks like a lipstick or something that might actually be a decent size for the dolls. I have Corinne here with me, so let's see how it compares to a doll's hand. Yeah, so this works pretty well. It has little RL on it for real littles, I believe. And I think it also says that this is real lip gloss, but I don't think I will be putting this on my actual lips. So I don't want to do that. As you can see, the brush is way too small. <laughs> Maybe like as a toy brush for their toy, but this would never work for an American Girl doll. This is way too tiny. And then here's the little hair tie. It looks like it might like actually work for them. I would be scared to stretch it out too much, but it does fit nicely around their wrist if they want to wear it like that. I don't really want to put it in the doll's hair because I feel like it might get stuck. But this is pretty cute. And when we look at the comparison between the doll and the luggage, it seems like it's a decently good size. The handle fits well in her hand. And it seems like it is a pretty good fit. And a little carrying case on the top. And now if I can just open this. Why can't I? Oh, okay, here we go. So there's another plastic thing in here. So it comes with two little postcards. This one looks like it's Paris and this one is the beach. And it also has like the RL for real littles on it. I really love the design on the back. And this also looks like it is a pretty decent size for the American Girl dolls. And they also have a little nail polish thing here, which I think is real. Uh, I'm also not gonna try it out. <laughs> Maybe I will, I don't know but for now I'm not going to. And this seems to be a pretty decent fit for the American Girl dolls. Here is the luggage tag. This is really cute. You can put it on the actual luggage and it has this little card inside that you can write your information. Looks like it's like a peach shape and it's made out of kind of this plasticky material or vinyl. 
what's this material? I don't know. But anyway, you can see it's bendy and it's pretty like, it's like a soft plastic. Yeah, no, the, another thing in here is a little nail file. It does feel like a real nail file. I can feel the sandpaper on it, if you can hear that. That's what it sounds like, um, ASMR. <laughs> but yeah, this also is a decent size for the doll, like kind of a fat nail file, but it is a teeny tiny nail file, if you can see compared to the size of my hand. And then the last thing in this is the stickers that you can use to decorate the luggage. I probably would use some, maybe I'll use some of these stickers, but I'll probably use some of my own stickers if I do want to decorate the luggage. I'm gonna be putting these stickers, I got them in Korea, actually, so I'm gonna put these ones on the luggage, and not the ones that I came with. And then looking at the luggage itself, it has this buckle here, but it's made out of like rubber or something and I don't think this can come off, but you can probably just like place things inside of it. Not this though. Here, let me take, sacrifice one of her shoes. Looks like it's there to like hold things down. And it also has two plastic shelves. There are compartments in the luggage here you can put stuff in it like this nail polish or this teeny tiny brush which I don't know why it's so small like what are you gonna brush with this <laughs> looks like a little pet shop brush actually kind of has the design of a luggage and this whole thing is made out of plastic which I, do I think the American Girl one is not made out of plastic so but it does look quite similar, honestly. The little carrying case also has these details with the buckles, but they don't actually do anything. It's just there for decoration, I guess. But it will definitely fit a lot of stuff in it still, like tiny items that you wanna bring. It also has like the zipper design. Oops, didn't take the brush up. <laughs> it also has the zipper design, but the zipper is not functional. Same with this one. And it has these locks as well. And now the third thing in this was this little book. Let's see what's inside of this. Uh, what is this? Oh, this is just a cardboard thing. I was like, why is it off-centered? And why is it such a weird shape? Okay, I don't think that's part of it. Uh, it has this little book. They have a bunch of blank empty pages and then also a little world map. And some checklist stuff. This is so cute. And then the rest are blank here. So this stays glued into this book. It does not come out. And then it has this pencil case, which is Velcroed on, <laughs> which you can take off, looks like. And it's like a little Ziploc. Inside of it, there are more stickers, a little stencil here, and a little pencil which looks like it's a real pencil. And comparing this to the size of the doll hand, it seems like pretty good size. I mean, this pencil seems like it's a decent size. The stencil also seems like it's decent size. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do with this, but it's very cute. And the journal itself is like kind of big because of the amount of space it needs to put this pencil case in. Don't know why it couldn't have just been separate. Like why does it need to Velcro in here? But anyway, yeah, you could also definitely use this for your dolls. And let's put everything away in this. Okay, there, that does fit. Let's put some of the stuff in this small carrying case. And this is what it looks like standing up. I think it's a pretty decent size. I do not have the American Girl one to be able to compare it but I think this is still pretty cute. And in photos, I don't think you'll really be able to tell the difference between the two, honestly. And yeah, I think that's everything that's in this Real Littles luggage set. 
Let me know what you think of it. Um, if you see it on TJ Maxx, I would definitely recommend it compared to American Girl's prices. Like, it's a pretty decent price for a little luggage set. I will definitely be taking this going on vacation or something. It would be cool for some vacation photos or to, you know, actually store some stuff. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I never really do unboxing videos, but I thought this would be a fun one to unbox on camera. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye! Mm -hmm.